Hello everyone. Back again here to do a, a painting. I was commissioned recently from a friend of mine, Mallory, to uh, do make two paintings of her boyfriend's dog. This is Breeze, or Breezy. Um, and unfortunately, Breezy has passed away. As you can see, Breezy is an old dog. And this is the photograph she chose to use as a reference. I'm going to change, make the change to the arrangement a little bit and move the dog more towards the center, change the background a, a bit, simplify it, and use some simple colors that go work well together and uh, to try to do something special. So that's the reference photograph. So we'll take a look at this. Now I've already done, I'll set that aside, I've already done one painting of Breezy. And here Breezy is. I'm going to emulate this. This is a loose one, very loose. I l did line work first and um, did the typical thing where one, I put in the sketch. Two, I uh, go over it with ink. In this case, the Itoya blade pen, which has water-soluble ink, as you can see how it runs. But you still get line work that still is in there. And that's fine as long as you know what your ink does, how it behaves. And then I went over with color. Very simple design and um, finished it out and had fun doing it. So I'm going to do the last part now. Let me set that aside. And uh, here's the second piece that I have. I did the sketch and I've gone over it again with my ink. Same ink as before. A black water-soluble ink. It's uh, the Itoya pen, which is a nice little quill pen that um, I have in my, that I bought from my um, art supply store. Now, whenever I got, to, I'm going to use two brushes here. I'll use, start with this uh, three quarter inch nylon brush, specifically because it comes to a better chisel point. Then I'll and I'll do that just to lay in the face because I need to do more detail work, especially around the eyes. Then I'm just going to switch over to my small Ron Ranson Hake brush. I cut the ends off just so it fits in my um, brush holder better. So let's get started. Let's do this. I'm going to come in directly with color. Now when you're doing eye, when you have a piece where you do have eyes in it, you know, you've got a live person or animal or something, my suggestion is you do your eyes first. And remember to leave in a little bit of the lamp light. Now the dog is an old dog, got kind of sad eyes to her. And when you put your paint on, put it on. Now there's a thing called lamp light in the eyes, what an old term for you need to leave a little bit of white in the eye so that it looks like the animal is or the, the animal or the human being, if it's a human being, is alive, is vibrant, has vibrancy to it. So I'll leave a little bit of white. And rather than push my luck, let's just call that good. Okay, grab a few more on like this. I'll put the paint on and I can wet it while it's still within that about minute or minute and a half and pull it out. Largely just follow my lines. All right, so now I'll put in some a little bit of these shadows here too. The dog is, being an old dog is, and a golden lab, um, white on the, the lower legs and the paws, and then white around the, the muzzle, the nose and that, and um, so we'll, this is dry brush as you can tell, and I'm negative painting here. Here, let me switch brushes. The Hake brush carries a lot more water. I'll go a lot farther with one charge of paint or one charge of water. 
I'm on a quarter sheet of watercolor paper. This happens to be Arches Rough, 140 pound, which is my favorite surface. And uh, all right, that's got to start at that far. Now let's start. Grab my darks like I normally like to do. Let's start a little bit on our face here a little bit. If I have an object that has a face like this, a human being or an animal or something, I usually, or very often anyways, start with the face. Especially the eyes. Because if you mess up the eyes, it's going to look... It's going to look bad. It won't look right. And it'll bug you. All right, so the breeze is a lot of white up here, but it's golden down here. A nice thing with working... Use a big brush like this for as long as you can. So you can block it in quickly. Now that's got breeze mostly blocked in now. Um... And I'm going to do same basic idea. Put the big pink sun around around breeze. It doesn't matter. You, no one can draw perfect circles. Nobody, nobody does. The nice thing about it when you're painting loosely, you don't have to do worry about that. Put in some darker red down here. Sort of makes it look. kind of has a halo effect, like, you know, like uh, religious paintings, church paintings and that. The main thing is, is that you make the center area your, your strongest color. Now I'll block in my landscape really quick. I'm just going to use some satin green. I have these greens from the paint sets that I bought. And because I'm too cheap to th throw it out and just mix my greens, I use them up. But I usually mix them with something else. I've got sap green and viridian. Now, green is a complement to red. When you put the two of them next to each other, the way complements work on the color wheel, they both accentuate one another. Both make one another stronger. You know, green and red, that's the Christmas colors. And, um, all right, so I'm going to use the this little trick to try to help block in and frame Breeze's face, but I'm going to add a little blue, some cobalt, charge it in there, let it run. Could use some Prussian, Prussian blue. All right, let's come down with our. Uh, this is. I know this is. It's controlled mess is really what it is, but it's fun to do. All right, now I've got. Being mindful of my sun. I put a little sun up here and down here. And then again, I put the paint on and let it carry away. This needs to be darker. I'm going to adjust my value. So now I'm just fine tuning my values. And let's see here. Okay, so I'm underneath the leg. And I need to. Breeze is looking too flat. I need to make. Breeze look more three dimensional. So come around here. Gotta get bold here. There we go. Put some Prussian on. There we go. That would be a sh cast shadow there. Come over on this side and give her a little bit more definition. Maybe a little bit more up here, too. This would be out of the sun. 
it down there. It's a hot day here today, and so it's dried off a little bit, so I can do a little dry brush. Okay. That's about it. I want to arrange properly. Okay. Well, I will let that dry. I like that. I will let that dry and compare it with the former one. The former one, same basic concept, sun, dog, green grass. And there's a second painting. Okay, I like I'll let that dry and then I will um, touch up the four corners afterwards and call it good and uh, let Mallory know that her paintings are done. And hopefully her boyfriend, Mark, and his dad will love these. Thanks. And by the way, if you like it, hit subscribe, please. And um, give me a thumbs up and let me know if there's anything you'd like to see. Thank you. Bye-bye.